You're watching Chewing the Cud. With Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. And I said, gay tiger, rude, gay leopard. Yeah. I can't really say anything, sorry. Why are you wearing security tags as a necklace? Because I'm precious. Precious material. What have you dug up for us this week, Mike? Well, this week I've got a way of measuring, shall we say, your member and how it doesn't your really Johnson work Johnson and Johnson. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at The Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, The TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing The Cud and hit subscribe. And as names meander along the bottom of the screen, we get prepared for this week's showbiz with Lee. This week in showbiz, we have something old. Mm -hmm. And something new. Something borrowed and something blue. No, no, we don't have time for those other two. Yeah. So well, that rhymed too. Uh, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've done. Yeah. You're a poet of which you may not have been aware. Yeah. So, in previous show business, we have talked a lot about Tiger King. Tiger King! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for I was it. Because you can't say Time it. One, <laughs> two, three. Um, and we've, there's been rumours of a film, and then I got kibosh because I was supposed to start Ni star Nicolas Cage, mm -hmm. and that didn't happen. So, recently, what has just hit the Netflix is Tiger King 2. Ooh. Mm. Now, no. No? It's not very good. Do you not think? No. Um, so, yeah, it's debuted towards the end of November on Netflix. Um, it's got five episodes. Mm -hmm. um, it's odd because, obviously, he's in prison. He is at the minute in so, prison. Yeah. So at the end of, of the original Tiger King, he, he was in prison. Mm -hmm. So he'd got, was it something like 25 20, years, 20, 20. something like that? Yeah, like that. Um, he, he, plotting to kill people. Doing stuff with animals, um, not sexy stuff, but just, well, who knows? Um, um, and he's <laughs> so just. <laughs> um, so it was 20 to 25 years, mm -hmm. yeah, um, for um, basically planning someone's murder. Yes. And some like 18 or 19 counts of animal cruelty. Mm. He was plotting to kill Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. <laughs> he was plotting to kill her. Um, so Tiger King 2. Mm -hmm. Is I think the problem with it is, is that they've kind of... Oh, look, there of, she is. There's Carol Baskin. Hey, you cats and kittens. Hey, cats and kittens. Um, <laughs> she has refused to be in it. Mm. But they've what they've done is they've, like, cobbled together stuff from previous interviews and stuff to kind of use. Right. I think the problem with Tiger King 2 is it's kind of like... They're kind of, like, mopping up after you've shot your load. It's kind of like they're just trying to... They're just... <laughs> they're just trying to click... Just gather a few more bits that when already we know most of it, it you know, we've, we've, we've had the first orgasm. Um, why am I talking like this? I don't know. But I don't know. I'm just watching you go. Because <laughs> so, you had your first orgasm, you're not mopping up. You're <laughs> <laughs> like if you've like, say, like if, if, uh, if, if, um, <laughs> you're struggling for anything but I can't orgasm think reference. of anything else. So it's kind of like, they're like sweeping the kind of debris up to try and make another series. He's in prison, so they can't really interview him. I think there are some sort of scenes when he's on video camera from mm -hmm. prison, and we've got a picture of him with an unfortunate fringe. Obviously hasn't he's got access. Had an unfortunate fringe. Uh, yeah, but it, it, it's not good looking. Um, so yeah, we've got a picture there of him is, yeah. here. I don't know if that's a wig or it's his real hair. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's still got his, he's still got his um, mullet going on there, mm -hmm. so there must be some kind of upkeep of the hair yeah. in prison. Um, so, yeah, he just kind of tries to kind of go over old ground and find mm. out if there is anything new. Um, I don't know whether it's that interesting. Yeah, I like it because there's um, warning spoilers. You hear a lot about Carol's first husband. The one that disappeared. Mm. Mm. And where he might actually have disappeared to oh. rather than be dead. Tiger's tummy. No. No? No. Where's he disappeared to? Don't want to spoil it. It's, oh. it's a big... It's, it's a, a biggie. Biggie. Do they, do they think he's still with us or mm -hmm. has he passed on? There's there's an ongoing investigation, oh. that's all we can say. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of thought processes there. 
Oh. Yeah. Well, because Carol Baskin refused to be in it, mm -hmm. they've kind of cobbled bits of old interviews and stuff in it. She's actually taken a lawsuit against Netflix. All right. Um, saying that, you know, she they illegally breached the contract. She's saying that she didn't give them permission, did not grant any permission for them to look into all other stuff that she's done and use that. So she's she's going for, she's going for the books. She wants the big books. Um, I would imagine that she has probably signed deals for all sorts of stuff just for her, mm -hmm. for the Carol Baskin um, entertainment special. I would think. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Carol Baskin experience. The Carol Baskin experience. I wonder if like she's seen like a massive upturn in people that visit in her um, tiger parade mm. place. So there's there's some twists and turns. Oh. Again, I, it, it, I just want to tell everybody the spoilers that... Well, tell people. You, you, know, tell. The, you know the guy that basically conned Joe out of the, the, the park? Yes. Yeah? He is making a killing now because after, after lockdown, people wanted to get out. And where did they go? Let's go to the, the oh. animal sanctuaries and see the, the tigers from Tiger King. Oh. And so he's making tons of money. Right, and they're kind of like jaded old lions and tigers smoking a fag going, yeah. I, used to. <laughs> I remember the good days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, if you, you know, I think what they've done is they think they're onto a good thing. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to eke out as much of it as they possibly can. How they've left it, what I believe is that it could well be open to a Tiger King 3. Yeah. If he is released, mm. possibly. Yes. So if that is your thing, go watch it. Mm -hmm. So now we're on to something new. Ooh. What does the world need, Mike? What does the world of entertainment need another of? Reality TV stars being receiving an enema. That is my dream. But no, another drag queen show. Yay! Yay! So... Is it RuPaul? No, RuPaul's not in it. RuPaul's oh. got a hand in it. Three fingers. Mm. But is not actually starring in it. Okay. So this is going to be called Queen of the Universe. Ooh. These are the judges. Now, it's basically, the premise of it is, is is a talent show for drag queens as in singing. Right, okay. So there's no lip syncing. Okay. It's all live singing. Mm -hmm. So drag queens from around the world have been gathered together like this and gathered that how together. How you gather? Is that how, how you, you gather, gather a drag queen? Um, I, I thought that you say free drinks at the bar. Yeah, quite. Yeah, um, lace fronts for you, and they're like running. Um, so it's a. Um, oh, one second. Oh. Hello. No, just tell them they can't come in. Right, bye. Apparently the drag queens because I said oh, three drinks at the bar. No. So what happens is, is that they're going to be singing in like a pop diva type situation, live singing. Okay. So the judges, which we had a picture of there, we've got um, Trixie Mattel, mm -hmm. like a bit of Trixie Mattel. We've got Vanessa Williams, who is like a massive deal. She's been in Ugly Betty, but she was a pop star back in the day. Mm -hmm. We've got Michelle Visage. Uh -huh. Now, really weirdly, Leona Lewis. Not, I know, great well, voice, tiny personality. Um, well, she doesn't need a good personality because the others have got that. Yeah, it's odd. Yeah. Yeah, an odd choice for, for, for a panel. Um, and also, again, Graham Norton's hosting it. <sighs> oh, no. Not a massive fan of him on Drag Race, but oh. he's got this gig. So basically, it's unscripted, so there's no kind of like set-up scenarios. It's basically like... X Factor for drag queens. Well, X Factor's got set-up scenarios in it. Mm, but not like, they're not having to do like an acting thing. Right, they're so not having to do challenges. No, it's all about the singing. So they're all from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Drag queens from all over the world. So some of them I've never heard of. So they're from, from all sorts of different kind of far-flung places. The people that we might know, Juju B, uh -huh. from, um, from America, who was in... Drag Race a couple of times. I think she did All Stars all as stars, well as, yeah. as the regular. Um, we've also got Lavoie, mm -hmm. who is from the UK. Now Lavoie can sing. Ah, oh, see, I never, I don't watch Britain's Got Talent, which is what she was on. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe that she can sing. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen Lav Lavoie live, um, and it's yeah. And there's people from Brazil. There's people from France. There's loads and loads of different queens. So that is due to start imminently oh. on, but there's no plans. It's one of those where it says there's no details on where it's going to be shown in the UK. Uh, but one would imagine that if we've got 
Graham Norton mm -hmm. and Leona Lewis, then they were going to have to show it on some It'll sort be of somewhere. Because probably be on BBC Three. Yeah, it doesn't. It looks very of the clips that I've seen. There's a budget. Okay. Because it's by World of Wonder, and um, I don't know what they win. It depends on what whether because if it's on the BBC, it won't be a cash prize, will it? I don't think it's made badges. by the. It's not made by the BBC. It's made by World of Wonder, and mm -hmm. so it's it's not been commissioned by the BBC, so they won't be getting like you know a pin badge to say well done. Um, I would imagine that um, it will be quite substantial. Okay. So so that is yeah that is coming out soon. So that looks exciting. Do you do you think you could cope with another drag queen? Show if it, because it'll be slightly different. It won't be RuPaul Drag Race, mm. right? And I think that's what I'm tired of at the minute. It's the form mm. form of RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm. I think yeah, I could. A lot of queens can different. sing as well. Yeah. So that's great. So look out for that at a channel near you coming soon. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> anyway. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Um, I can't follow that. Totally welcome, Mike. But stick with us, because coming up next, it's Mike in the buzz. Yeah! <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Code with Lee and Mike. Now let's have Mike bring us the buzz. You have a collection, don't you, Lee? Many collections. What, what things do you collect? Beautiful, precious things. That. Some may say that it was what it is. That was what it is. <laughs> but I believe it is beautiful. Ah, uh -huh, like your, your beautiful necklace. It is. The bones. Bones of people I've met. The bones <laughs> of trees, it's bits of wood. Yeah, well, you know. Anyway, um, so there's a, a young man that's on a mission. Is he? To collect. A chip from every Weatherspoons in the country. So the same person that's had to park in every space, space in no, the same this is car park. different. Right. Okay. Okay. This is a gentleman called Boris Bennett. Mm. Okay. Who's 45. Who carries a folder of chips with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and each in each single pouch, there's a chip from a different Weatherspoons that he's labelled. And I'm reading at the bottom, it says that he covers them in Vaseline. He covers them in Vaseline. Yes, because there was people concerned about, you know, they'll go off because the chips have got mouldy. So he covers them in Vaseline and wax okay. to preserve them. So he basically entombs them. Right. Now, if you look at this picture, yeah, we've got one in Manchester, one in Lee, one in Huddersfield. Now, I know there's several Weatherspoons in Manchester. He could have gone to a couple and got a chip. Well, yeah. He's not playing this smart, is he? Yeah. What's, um, what's the what's the what, what is the goal? What is the what was the result? What is the what is the meaning of this, Mike? Why? That's what the viewers are asking. They go, what? Why? Because he wanted to collect a chip from every single Wellspoon. It's one of those things that I mean, you know, what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start collecting things. Oh, what stamps that might increase in value? No, chips. Chips. Okay, so he just travels around the country going to Wellspoons. And, and asking for a packet, asking for a plate of chips, plate and then just chips, taking one, yeah. taking one home with him. He's eating the rest. Eating the rest. Um, so he's going, he's going to make nine hundred and twenty-five trips because there's nine hundred twenty-five Weatherspoons in the country. Does he have a job, Mike? No, no, no. I didn't think no. he did. Um, does he have a partner, Mike? Yes, he does. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> complete a chip. <laughs> <laughs> Called Barbara, who he loves very much. <laughs> um, so a spokesperson for Weatherspoons mm. has commented, saying it's it's one of a kind. Chip or him? No, he he's him. He's one of a kind. He's, he's one, one of a kind. kind. He's one of a kind, which is just it's like oh <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, so <laughs> he's put on, on social media. Um, if you're wondering, does that bloke really walk around with a uh, trading cards collection book full of chips? The answer is yes, I do. I mean, who are we to judge people's interests and hobbies and things? But you know, yeah, he could be putting his time for he something. He first thought bit. he did it because he thought it'd be funny. Mm, but it's not, though, is it? It's just a little bit <laughs> sad. It's just a little bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he he's, he started off sharing them on the um, a Facebook group okay. that's dedicated to the few yes. number of chips that you get at Weatherspoons. Oh, uh, what? Because eh? you don't get many chips at Weatherspoons. Oh, people count them, do they? People count them. 
Okay. So he's decided to to keep one. I don't know what's more sad, collecting chips or going into admitting that you're going to a Weatherspoons. I've been into a Weatherspoons. Have you? I've eaten and consumed alcohol in a Weatherspoons. Have you? Yeah. Did you feel? I was already drunk. Oh, okay. So you didn't even really know where you were. After <laughs> see what I put in my mouth after I've been drunk. Anyway, moving on. Day jobs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said day, not blow. Okay, yeah. Right. Day jobs. Sometimes you need a side hustle, an extra something. A side hustle. That's what you said. You went, sometimes you need a side hustle. I just said side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the voices in your head tell you different things have happened. Um, but, you know, just to, to get that extra bit of something. Yeah, that yeah. should be a little bit of moolah to, to to buy just things. Just to treat yourself with. Yeah, treat yourself. <laughs> or treat yourself. Yeah, treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. Because um, I know you like to be northern. Um, well, this is a story about a lady who wanted to, to update her kitchen. Okay. Right. And decided she wanted a £35,000 kitchen. Goodness grief. What was it made out of? Diamantes? <laughs> Diamantes. <laughs> Diamantes. <laughs> um, well, probably. Um, so she thought, she, you know what she's going to do? She's going to get a, a job working as a sex line worker. I mean, I'm tempted. Mm, I wouldn't be. She only made 50 quid. Oh, that's a kick in the crotch, isn't it? Well, it's not some people pay more for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so a lady called Francesca from the northeast of England. She gave herself the nickname of the Dirty Cow. Okay. Um, and I said in my raunchiest voice, I have brown hair, green eyes, like a pussycat. If you stroke me, I might purr for you. Okay. Um, and then she found out she just wasn't getting any interest. She made a total of 50 quid. So she has to wait for people to call her. Mm -hmm. On a premium rate number. Right. But I thought... Do you not just? Well, I don't know. Just watch porn on the internet; it's free. No, I think these those sex lines. Do mm -hmm. they not? If you want to be a sex worker on a sex line, do you? Are you? Do you not? Do they not divert you into? Do you work for the, the company, and then as phone calls come in, they just divert the, the phone calls to your number, so you I, don't no, like you, choose who. Yeah, you, you don't. So if you're choosing a particular thing, a particular fetish. Oh, okay. Yeah, they will direct you to someone that specialises in that fetish. Oh. Okay. Why am I saying it like fetish? fetish? I don't know, Mike. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to keep it. It's like your fetish. <laughs> um, yeah, I was saying fetish. <laughs> um, she gets to the call, so I vote it through to her. She answers the call. She talks sexy. Okay. Right. But she only made 50 quid, so she's either really bad at it or really good. Why would she be really good at it if she's only made 50 quid? Because you get paid for the amount of time they're on the phone. But that, might, that could be just one phone call. That's it. Or several very short very, phone calls. Very short. So if she's there going... Hi, I'm a sexy kitten, and oh, finished, thanks, bye. She doesn't make yeah. much money. It doesn't sound good, though, does no, it? it doesn't sound good, so it's not a good side hustle for her. No, bless. So what, she got, like... 50 quid. 50 quid, and that's not going to buy you a... A 30,000 pound. No. Pound, could you kitchen. do that? Could you, could, you be a, could you be a sexy voice at the end of a phone line? I, I'd be a very, money? very, very niche market. Very niche well, Very niche market. Hi. Oh, Are you right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, You've been I, a bad boy. You, you crack on, love. I'm just watching telly. <laughs> what do you like, want, Daddy? What, what, oh, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Oh, instant boner drop. Flop. And if you want to interact with me, not him for that, <laughs> on social media, at The Cud TV, our website is thecud.tv. And on YouTube, we are still under Chewing The Cud. Now we're going to our story of the week. This is possibly the most uncomfortable I've ever been reading a story. Is it? Yes. Um, so, I apologise in advance to everybody. As we talk about a young gentleman who has been hospitalised after getting a USB charger stuck down his... <laughs> after putting it inside to see what, how long it was. What? Yep. A boy has been hospitalised after... Oh, it's got blood in it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, measured the inside by using a USB cable. Oh, for goodness sake. So I mean, we... cream eggs I can deal with. <laughs> but if you're shoving stuff like that... <sighs> so, yeah, he's 15, so he can't be named for legal reasons. Um, from London. Okay. So he's not even American, we can't blame it on the Can't Americans. even blame it on the country that they can um, Basically, it was rushed to hospital after he, he basically called his mum going, I can't get it out! 
and it started to bleed as he tried to remove it. He got both ends out, but a bit stuck in the middle. Oh, he got both ends out? He got both the ends out, but How? It, got, it got tied up in the inside. And so as he pulled it, it basically cut and started to go blood. So he's rushed to hospital. Um, and basically, as he explained to the doctors, it's like, how did that happen? He called it, <laughs> it was triggered by sexual curiosity. What was, what, what, what? He, what I, he wanted to see how long it was on the inside. Of his penis. Yeah, and so knew the, the, the cable was one metre long and wanted to see how much it would go in and... Oh. Um, they had to, they tried to flush it out, so in, in, inflate things with water and saline to try and get it out that way, but it wasn't coming. So they had to cut it out by going a little one end from the back and one cut from the front. Back of his poop shoot? Uh-huh, just, just underneath his anus. Oh! Um, they had to make an incision and go in and get some of it, and then just on the shaft to go in and get the rest. Oh, is he all mangled now, man? He's, he's, he's being okay, he's being monitored, because he can't, can't be trusted <laughs> not to put something down it. But um, they said he should make a full recovery, he's had a catheter fitted, it's been taken away, he's able to pee normally. But after he had had it cut out of him, um, he was allowed to go home the next day. So oh, well, well done wasn't him. in hospital for too long. Well done him. Keep him away from Leeds. Thank you, Mike. Or should I say, Daddy? Stick around. It's coming up. We have our game of the week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week, we're going to be playing the Gobby Game Show. Hang on a minute, that's that's mine. That's my gig. <laughs> You're not using my mouth spacer, are you, spreader? <laughs> Off your <laughs> pop. Touching <laughs> it. Game of the Week. The rules are quite simple. Mike is going to describe what's on his card while he has his mouth stretched out by... Oh, dear huh? me. It's a ball gag. It's a ball gag. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get started. All a pig. You're a pig. Mm hmm. Is this just a way of getting you off? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm fearful. From a TV show. Mm hmm. A prayer. In a chair. Mm hmm. You're a pig from a TV show mm -hmm. in a chair. Mm -hmm. With questions. Questions. Mm -hmm. Who asks questions? Mm. You're a pig in it from a TV show in a chair that asks questions. Mm -hmm. Someone asks me questions. Someone asks you questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, for first. A pig? <laughs> <laughs> Started to open. Well, that's mastermind. <laughs> pig mastermind. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You're a pig on mastermind. <laughs> Have I slipped into some sort of bizarre dimension? <laughs> what? What the f is going on? <laughs> I know, but why would there be a pig on mastermind? <laughs> that's very. <ve> when? <laughs> I'm a woman. You're a woman. Eat cake. And you eat cake. Mm. You eat cake. I eat cake. You eat cake. And you're a woman. Mm -hmm. is, is she? I'm a head shot Pardon? I'm a head shot <laughs> <laughs> Would that be Marie Antoinette? Get the red chopped off. I feel ill. <laughs> You're messy. Mcmilly. You're American. I'm. 
Is that the safe word? Oh, look. Your bacon. Oh, look. It doesn't matter how many times you go <laughs> mmm at me, I still don't know. <laughs> it's either American or bacon. Mm. A man. Mm. You don't you dribble on that table, <laughs> you pig. Mm. Look, I've got clothes on. You've got clothes on. I'm not got clothes on. You haven't got clothes on. Oh, my naked. You're naked? Mm. Okay. Oh, the full. <laughs> you're naked and dancing. Oh, pole. On a pole, you're a pole dancer. <laughs> a naked pole dancer. <laughs> or Tuesday, Mike calls it. La la. Ma ma. La la. A sheep. Mm -hmm. You're a sheep. La la. La la. Ba ba black sheep. Mm -hmm. Sheep talking to each other. <laughs> Two sheep talking to each other. <laughs> Two sheep. Look who? Look who? Look, look at look. A, a sheep talking to itself in the mirror. Look who? <laughs> ah, can somebody, can somebody help me? Can somebody call a doctor or a or, a, or an emergency helicopter to have me removed? Look, 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 look. Are you still talking about sheep? What? Two sheep talking to each other. No, two sheep. Two sheep. No, not two. And one sheep. No, not two. <laughs> one sheep is looking at the other sheep. No, two sheep. Oh my god, two sheep! <laughs> Watching. Watching? <laughs> Cockle mouth. Cockle mouth. No. Two sheep watching Cockle Shell Bay. <laughs> From, from the 80s. Lost and Mine. Mastermind. Two sheep watching a pig on Mastermind. Well, no pig. No pig. <laughs> Just two sheep watching Mastermind. <laughs> oh my god. Next one. Okay. <laughs> two sheep. Oh, oh, right, oh, back oh. again. Oh, no. Oh. Two sheep. Oh. Kissing. Mm-hmm. On the head. Two sheep kissing each other on the lips. No, on the head. On the leg. Oh, on, not on the On the, on the leg. Two sheep kissing on an egg. No, on the leg. Don't, don't be getting angry with me, ball gag face. I have no idea what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Two sheep kissing on a date. Oh. Who, who, who is coming on with these? What this? There's somebody at home pulling the padge to <laughs> this, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively. Oh. That's us. No. A cat. No. No. A, a, three cats. A cat meowing. Uh -huh. No. 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 Cat constantly meowing. Right, no, 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 Three cats. Two cats. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's all the <laughs> <laughs> Two cats in a tumble dryer. Ah. Is, that, is that it? This is it? This is some niche shit. <laughs> Batman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Batman. <laughs> Batman snorting coke. What's up? 
of Yacht Hulk. Speed? What? Batman on speed. Ah. <laughs> I think I've been on LSD. <laughs> for this. <laughs> Don't ever, <laughs> ever do that again. Oh, I think I my... Power of Spurs. Power of Spurs. Well. Mmm, nuts. Mmm, nuts, nuts, Sucking some nuts up. What I don't know is nuts. Squirrel. What? Two squirrels. Uh-huh. Oh. Two squirrels in a microwave. Oh! Oh! Two squirrels having sex. Yeah. That's all having sex. Bad trip. Oh! Oh! Good fish. Tuna fish? Good fish. Go so long and thanks for all the fish. Results. 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 I, I want you to stop now. Results. So much to do with goldfish. Uh, Are you. A dolphin? Yeah. Yeah. Dolphin. That's it? That's it. I think we need to end it now. No. No? Uh. God. Are you serious, huh? In the theatre. <laughs> Last night at the prom. Yes, that's what it sounds. Last one. Last one. Last one. I'm going to say you. Oh? No. Mm, I'm going to say you. In the theatre? No, Australia. In Australia? No. Well, well, a didgeridoo. Oh, well, I know. I'm playing a didgeridoo. Ah. That's it. Well, join us after the break when my testicles may well have just descended back out from inside my stomach. And we'll have that science, that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cod. Now it's that part of the show where we go over to Mike with that science that is. That science that is. So I know you like your creative things, Lee. Mm, I do indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought rather than just be purely scientific, we'll use science to make something pretty. Well, it'll be a first. says the man brings out crafty queens. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a cascading rainbow. A cascading nympho? Rainbow. Rainbow. Oh. I've I've not got a, a ball gag in my mouth, I've not got a kazoo in my mouth, and you still don't understand a word no. I'm saying. Do you ever think it might not be me, it's you? You need to open your mouth wider, Mike. I know you've been, that's been said before, but... It's never been said before. So the, what we're going to do is we're going to use the interaction of oil and water. Oh, okay. Sporter. Huh? Oil and water. Sporter. Sporter? I don't know where I got that from. It wouldn't be sporter. What would it be then, Lee? It wouldn't be anything. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is prepare our jar. Okay. Because this is where the action is going to happen. Is it? Yes. So to prepare your jar, you need to fill it quite a way up with water. Okay. Do you have some water there? I do, in Kubinki yeah. Dinkali. I have a, have a huge bottle of it. Yeah, you don't need all of the water. I pop the water in. Anybody need to pee? No. So how far up to the top do so, I fill it? So you want to leave it, you want to give it about an inch. An inch the at the top. See, I had a very slow and steady stream. Yours is very bumpy. Okay. 
Maybe about less than that. Less? Maybe less space than that. More water? More water, yeah. Less space. That'll do. Okay. So, I'm not sure you're quite sure what an inch is. Like. So, that's that's where the magic's going to happen. Okay. Okay. What we need to do, though, is we need to prepare the magic itself. Oh, my word. Okay. So, you've got some oil in a little glass mug. I do, indeed. Yeah. So this is just normal vegetable oil. Don't need to drink it. Yeah. Okay. And you've also got some coloured dyes. I, yes. Yeah. What we're going to do is pop little droplets of coloured dye into the oil. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's going to go little drops. Gently, gently. Little drops. So yeah. <laughs> pop some little coloured droplets in. Little tiny drops. Okay. Of all the different colours? All the different colours. Because then what we're going to do is once we've added the colours, we're going to beat them up. They get into small little droplets. And then some red. Okay. Okay, great. Now, you've got a wooden spoon. Mmm. Okay. Now, you don't want to use the spoon side of the spoon. You want to use the handle side of the spoon. Oh, all right. Okay, because what we're going to do in this oil and coloured dye mixture, we're mm -hmm. going to beat it together. All right, so we're going to break up all those little bubbles. Mix it together? Yeah, so beat it so it makes little droplets. Not stirring, beating. Oh, beating. It should end up with a, a, a coloured liquid. I do. Okay. Now, because oil and water don't mix, yeah, what's, what we've actually got there is lots of little bits of coloured dye suspended in oil. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you just look at that really close up, Oh yeah, you can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to carefully pour the oil onto the water. Mm. Okay, you want to do it slowly so that the oil doesn't like just blob into the bottom. Okay. You want it to be smooth actions. Mm. Okay. So. We go down the edge. There we go. happen is quite quickly we should start to see little drops falling softly oh softly <laughs> do the voices help you concentrate <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we've got our oil and colour coloured dyes and then just water. Mm -hmm. And what will start to happen is because the oil is lighter than the coloured dye, mm -hmm. the dye will start to fall into the water and leave little coloured trails behind. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now this can take a few minutes. <laughs> I might see how far I can get that up my... That's 
Oh look, I've started. You start to see little droplets are falling. So what's that's happening is because the, the, the dyes and the inks are suspended in the oil. As they start to settle, because they're heavier than the oil, they start to fall. It changes the colour of the water, slowly and surely. Oh! Oh, you've had a big gush. Oh, how marvellous. Oh, you're a gusher, Lee. Yeah. yeah. I've been told. Isn't that clever? It is, Mike. Do you, do you remember when you had me gluing bits of leaf to a piece of paper and going, it's an owl! It's behind you. Yeah. Now I've just got a, got a jar of green water. Yeah, well, the colours will follow. The promise of a rainbow did not occur. Well, you've got a colour, I've got a colour. It's not, not a brilliant rainbow. It's not a rainbow. You've got three colours. I think that's amazing because that's science, that is. Yeah, it is. That's science, that is. Well, that was that was something, wasn't it? It was of science. It was indeed. Sometimes science isn't exciting, is it, Mike? Sometimes it's just Sometimes it's just pouring oil on top of water it and watching is. bits fall out of it. Yeah. That's all we can ever ask for. <laughs> but once again, some of the things we'd... Like, sorry, I just have to pull a point of well, order he's got here. A, he's, 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 got a, he's got a monk on there. Have we seen this? What? That glue gun catastrophe that you made me do. Should we just, should we just pop it? Come, come to me. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, I've had, I've, I've had, I've had toy companies approaching me for that. Of course you have. Yeah. Make so I want something that'll kill children if they chew it. T telling you. It's the future. In fact, probably, if we put it in that, mm -hmm. that's like your own little home pickled it's, thing. It's pickled thing. Your little, little sample. In formaldehyde. Pardon me, <laughs> I've been drinking that. <laughs> Don't drink that. It's got dyes in it. Okay. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. There we go. Formaldehyde. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is The Could TV. What's wrong with you? And on our YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Wait, right,